What's going on guys, welcome to another video. In today's video I'll be sharing my initial thoughts on the new iPhone 14 Pro. I'll be going over some of the new features, iOS 16 and what it's like to trade on. So let's get into it. Okay so let's get one of the most important things out of the way first, the price. So the iPhone 14 Pro cost me £1,100. As you can see I went for the space black colour in the 128GB storage option. 128GB seems to be enough storage for myself, however if you think you need more, you always have the option of the 256GB, the 512GB or the 1TB. Of course if you opt for the higher storage options, you'll be looking to pay significantly more. Next let's take a look at the design of the iPhone 14 Pro. As you'd expect with Apple, the iPhone 14 Pro is a clean and premium looking device. Not only does it look expensive, but it feels it too. In terms of designs, it's probably one of Apple's best looking iPhones to date. The textured matte glass back and stainless steel edges both feel and look premium. The phone also feels slightly heavy when compared to other flagship smartphones. However, I think this helps make the phone feel expensive and suggests that Apple's use quality materials when designing the phone. The display on the 14 Pro is one of the best displays currently on any smartphone. The 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR display with ProMotion makes using the iPhone that much more enjoyable. When compared to previous iPhones, you can definitely feel the difference in refresh rates. The 120Hz refresh rate just makes everything feel much more responsive and smoother. Also, I think it's worth mentioning that the iPhone 14 Pro's ceramic shield glass is considerably tougher than previous iPhone's displays. I tend to use my iPhone without a screen protector as I enjoy the natural look and feel of the displays. What I found with previous iPhones is that my display would get severely scratched up. However, with the 13 and 14 Pro, I haven't seen this. I'll be using my 14 Pro without a screen protector as I did my 13 Pro, and I will not be worried about scratching the display. However, I believe most of you guys will be using the phone with a screen protector, so you shouldn't have any issues with the display. Next let's talk about a new feature which Apple has added to their displays, the always on display. Apple has finally added the always on display feature to their phones, a feature which Android has had for a while now. The always on display feature is cool but I don't know how much I'll personally be using it as it seems to be draining my battery a lot quicker and also the always on display looks like the display is constantly on. I personally think it should be slightly dimmer. The most noticeable difference in this year's iPhone is probably Apple's Dynamic Island. The Dynamic Island essentially adapts to the tasks you are carrying out and the apps you have open. For example, if you have Spotify open you can see the Dynamic Island change accordingly and essentially it makes for a shortcut. It also kind of helps with multitasking. So say you have music open and a timer running simultaneously, you can simply navigate between the two from the Dynamic Island. When it comes to performance, the iPhone 14 Pro absolutely kills it. The A16 Bionic chip makes everything you do on the iPhone extremely fast and responsive. Unlike other smartphones on the market like Androids, you will not see this device lag whatsoever. Anything you do on this iPhone will be smooth and enjoyable, whether you are scrolling through social media, watching content or even trading. The phone can do whatever you want without any problems. One of the best features on the new phone is the camera. Every year the camera on the iPhones get better and better, and the camera on the iPhone 14 Pro has definitely seen a significant upgrade this year. The 14 Pro now has a 48 megapixel camera which gives us even more detail when capturing shots. Since owning any Pro iPhone, I found myself taking a lot more pictures and videos, as the camera just makes the process so easy and enjoyable. Here are a few examples of the shots I've taken so far. When it comes to battery, there's definitely been a big upgrade in the iPhone's battery life. I can easily get through the day without the iPhone dying. I tend to use the iPhone quite a bit throughout the day, from social media to checking charts and watching YouTube, and I still find that I'm left with more than 20% at the end of the day. With up to 23 hours of video playback, you shouldn't have any issues with the iPhone's battery life. Another feature which I recently started taking advantage of is MagSafe. I didn't really use MagSafe with my iPhone 13 Pro, however I recently picked up this MagSafe charger which allows me to charge my watch, my AirPods and my iPhone all at the same time in one place. 
Before grabbing this charger, I constantly was switching between cables and struggling to find enough plug sockets to charge all my devices at the same time. But now with the new MagSafe charger, I don't have this issue. Also, the main reason I never bought a MagSafe charger was because of the price. The ones I came across were all 100 plus. But the one I have now only cost me £65. So if you're looking to grab one, then I definitely recommend this one here. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. Now with Apple's new iOS 16, you can personalise your lock screen, showcase your favourite photos, customise font styles and display a set of widgets to get information at a glance. You now have widgets on the lock screen, another feature which isn't too new to Android users. The widgets on the lock screen let you quickly glance at data like weather, the calendar events, date, time zones, alarms, battery level, activity ring progress and more from other apps. Also you can now edit your lock screens, each with a unique backdrop and style, and easily switch between them like on the Apple Watch. Other than this, iOS 16 didn't really introduce anything too crazy. Ok so as traders, the main thing we want to know is if we can carry out all our essential tasks using the iPhone. So let's take a look at the, how some of the apps that we traders use on a daily basis run on the iPhone 14 Pro iPhone 14 Pro has no problems running the TradingView app. In fact, the ProMotion display makes it extremely enjoyable to use. You'll find all the essential features and tools on the iOS TradingView app. Being able to access TradingView on your phone and knowing that it has all the features you need is crucial for us traders, as it means you can access your charts wherever you are. Another great app which I use on my iPhone for all my fundamental news updates is Investing.com. Again, the app runs without any issues on the 14 Pro. But I personally think Investing.com should update the iOS app and add some new features and a better UI. One of the most important apps, MetaTrader 4. A very basic app, however an app which you need to work smoothly in order to get the best trading experience. The iOS app in my opinion is probably the best when compared to the Android version. The simplicity and UI make using the app simple and effective. One of my personal favourites for fundamental news is probably Yahoo Finance. Yahoo Finance has news articles on all the events you can think of that are currently unfolding in the economic world. The app notifies you on every single event which takes place in the market, no matter how big or small. This can be a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is you are always in the loop, however the bad thing is that you don't need to know about the small events as they most likely won't be moving the markets. Next we have the Financial Times app, which I've mentioned many times in my previous videos as one of the most reliable sources for fundamental news. A minimal app which allows you to view all your major news events in one space. Scrolling through articles on the 14 Pro's ProMotion display makes doing your fundamental analysis feel less tasking and more enjoyable. Ok so the next app that we traders need is Spotify. When trading I personally like to listen to music as it makes it a lot more enjoyable for myself. Of course the 14 Pro runs Spotify without any issues, however you now also have the new dynamic island which allows you to navigate through Spotify without opening the app. Here's a quick example of how Spotify works with the dynamic island. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.